Chai and Borah Rabinowitz, making a difference for the Jewish people. And we're going to talk about number six of the 48 ways, which is called fear. Biyira. In Hebrew, biyira means to see. To see reality. And the Mishnah tells us, and our tradition tells us, that you have to use fear in order to live, in order to get the most potential and power and, satisfa and satisfaction out of your life. Now, fear is a pretty scary word, but when we examine what it is, according to our understanding, our tradition, which makes sense if you think about it, you can see that you can use fear to get more out of your life and to maximize your full potential and your pleasure. So the first thing we do is to define what is fear. So it's an emotion of pain we have at the expectation of great loss. Also at the anticipation of the loss of a, of a great reward. A person with a chance to make or lose a million dollars is experiencing fear. If he'll lose it, the fear of the consequences. And if he doesn't win, the fear of losing out. When we have this fear, it causes us to have anxiety and alertness. So we have to use this in a very powerful way. So the first thing I'd like to start off with is to understand why we have such a negative reaction, why we don't really want fear. And as Rabbi Weinberg would point out, there are really four areas, four reasons, objections, why we don't really want to have fear. The first is that fear is painful. We don't want it. We want to avoid pain. Two, is that fear is restricting. We feel pushed or forced or pressured into doing something if we do it for fear. Three is we want freedom. We don't want to be a robot, a slave, or I'm doing it because I'm afraid. I, don't want, to, I want to feel that I can choose what I do. I'm not my own man. I'm not my own person. There's a lack of self. We call this third aspect, lack of freedom. And the fourth is fear is demeaning, which means that fear is forcing us to do something that it's not the right reason to do it. If you do it out of fear, it's why are you doing it out of fear? Do it for the right reason. So we feel it's demeaning. So, first of all, I want to start with the reason, the first objection to fear, why we don't want it, is it's painful. You see, in Western society, many people say that we are decadent. What is the definition of decadence? So, if you ask most people, would you say pleasure is the opposite of pain? People would say that pleasure is the opposite of pain, but really, no pain is the opposite of pain, that in order to really get satisfaction out of doing something, we need to have effort and pain, and that brings us greater satisfaction. When we play sports, when we work out, when we do a project, if we put in a lot of effort, we get more, satisf more satisfaction. So we know that according to the pain is the reward. In Hebrew, the Talmud says, lefum sara agra, according to the effort is the reward. Now we know when we work hard, we feel much better. And it is painful, but we don't focus on the pain, we focus on the accomplishment, even though it's hard. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Pain, it, fear is pain, but really we, we we actually see that we need to have pain in order to get pleasure. The pain of fear. So what is it? We said fear. Is, what's the pain of fear? That um, you know, we, I want to point out that that people actually pay to have pain. People pay to jump off of jump out of airplanes, or bungee jump, or you know flirt with death, or gamble. You know, 
it's Russian roulette. It's crazy, but it's, it's very energizing. Fear makes life thrilling. So we really have to use it and harness it to make life thrilling. It's, wow, you really feel alive. The second aspect is that fear, the objection that fear is restricting. We think that if we fear something, we can't do the best job. But if we look at it, really, it gives us power. You know, if somebody said that if you do a great job, if you make a sale, we're going to give you a quarter of a million dollars. If you memorize a piece of learning and we're going to give you $10,000 or the boss is going to walk in and you straighten up and you do a better job. Really, it's not restricting, but it actually energizes us and focuses us to do what we really want which is a better job or a better living, whatever we want. Three is that we said that we want freedom. We don't want to be a robot. But we feel, we feel freedom is to do whatever we feel like doing. You know, as a drug addict or an overeater or a gambler, are they really free? Are they really, they're in addiction. And these types of things, people are just slaves. So if we realize that fear of not getting into this can help us get out of not only the addiction, but of bad character traits that we are afraid of being just media, like media, like mediocre. <laughs> And the last thing we feel that fear is demeaning, that's undignified. But the fact is, is that it's true that we need to do things for the right reason. But if you can't do it for the ultimate right reason, use fear as a way to get you into it. Realize there's rewards and consequences to what you do. I heard a very beautiful Devar Torah, piece of Torah wisdom, from Rabbi Weinberg, where he says in the Talmud, it says, Kol bidei shemaim chutz meyura shemaim. Everything is the hands of God, except for fear of God. So we know everything is the hands of God. Every single thing. What do you mean except for fear? What do you, what do you mean except for fear? Really what we're saying is, really what we're saying is that, really what we're saying here is that, that, Yes, even fear is in the hands of God. But what does it mean? You want you could be want to be rich. You could want to be successful. You could want to do a lot of things. But ultimately, God is going to is in charge of that. But with fear, if you want it, if you want to see the reality, if you want to see consequences, then God will give it to you because God wants us to live in reality, and that's ultimately what we want. There's a lot more to talk about in fear. But to focus that really want to use fear to live in the most best and potential way. How do you have a good dose of fear? Think about that you're going to die one day. That life is finite. You're not here forever. And when you realize that, you sober up to the reality of what are you here for? What are you living for? What do you want to accomplish? What am I doing now? How can I get the most? So when you accept this reality, it will absolutely help you reach more of your potential. Thank you all for listening. If you'd like to please share it further, check out my website, borchabinowitz.com.